All right, today we are at the Dodge Caliber again. This thing has 225,000 miles on it with the original CVT, and we believe the original fluid in there. So we're just gonna go through and show you how to keep this thing running and how to save it from blowing up on itself. We're surprised that it made it this far, but this has been a single owner adult driven vehicle. There are some tools that you definitely need before you start this um, task. If you don't, go out and get these tools. The first one's gonna be this special dipstick here. It has graduations on it, if you see there. And those graduations line up with temperatures and how much CVT fluid you need in there. This car takes CVT F plus four. Constant velocity transmission fluid plus four. We are also gonna put some lube guard, CVT recharge and protect in there because we have some belt noise. Again, 225,000 miles. Uh, this thing is done great. And you need the filters. Now there are two filters on this transmission. Uh, this may apply for many other transmissions. We're gonna list all the vehicles in the description. But the first thing you wanna do is get the car up on jack stands, get underneath it and get a 10 millimeter Allen and go ahead and just drain the fluid. All right, once you got the car up on jack stands and supported safely, you're gonna take this lower splash guard out here on the driver's side. It is a pain in the butt. Just get it out the way. You're gonna come up. This is the front side of the pan on the driver's side. There is a 10 millimeter drain plug, hex type drain plug. Go ahead and just back that out, drain it. Now again, this is the first time we've drained this in 225,000 miles. So we have no idea what the condition is gonna be. Look at that. This stuff is thick, 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 thick. Black. This transmission fluid is dirty. 225,000 miles. All right, so what you wanna do now is just go ahead and lower the vehicle back down because we are gonna be working on the top side while this thing is draining. Okay, we're now at the front of the car where the battery is. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and disconnect your battery cables, positive and negative. And down on the front side of the battery here, there's going to be a little battery hold down. It's a 13 millimeter, go ahead and just remove that with a long extension and ratchet. Once that's out, the battery is loose and can be removed. Now's a good time to put the battery on charge if you need to or anything. Underneath here is the battery tray. That's also gonna have four 13 millimeter bolts and a 13 millimeter nut in the middle. Once the, those are out, you can remove it. Just take a little bit of prying up on and it'll come right out. Now we're exposed to where that second filter we were talking about was. Not a lot of people change this or anything, but it's right there. This housing here, there's three 10 millimeter bolts. One, two, three. Go ahead and remove those three 10 millimeters and slide this housing out. There'll be a filter in there, a cartridge style. Okay, this little housing here is held in by four 10 millimeter bolts. That bottom one there, you gotta come from in the wheel well. It's a little bit tricky to get. They are not tight at all, so do not worry. It's not gonna be hard to take off, and when you go back on, they are like literally finger tight. Inside, you're gonna have a little filter like this. This is the new one. We got the old one sitting on the bench. This black O-ring will get stuck inside there. Just pull it out with your finger. Make sure you get the filter and the O-ring out. We're gonna wipe down and clean this area up. Now Dodge and whoever else makes this transmission does not sell the O-ring to our knowledge separately here. So, uh, you can probably use it again, wipe it down real good, and we're going to send that filter in and tighten everything down. And then we'll go back underneath the vehicle and drop the pan. All right, as you can see, the filter's in there. Just make sure it goes in, and it'll be pretty much flush with this lip, just a hair in, and that's it. Bolt everything back up. All right, now we're down below. 
go ahead and remove all the 10 millimeter bolts on the transmission pan and drop the pan down. All right, we got the filter and pan out. Doesn't look too terrible. We got a little bit of just normal wear inside the transmission. Um, definitely surprised for 225,000 miles. The filter doesn't look terrible, but it does have material caught in there. Just match your old filters and your new filters up. We'll get everything back in and cleaned up and show you where the three bolts for this uh, filter go. All right, there's the filter installed. If you look here, we're gonna have one, two, three bolts. This center bolt here is the longest bolt that goes right there. The other two are short bolts. Wipe everything down, clean it up real good, and go ahead and put the pan back up. All right, once you got all the pan bolted and torqued down evenly, we're gonna go ahead and lower the vehicle, leave this splash shield off, leave everything open because we're gonna fill it and run it and make sure it's not leaking. All right, so we are at the time now where we're gonna fill the transmission. So we're gonna take this little magical CVT cover out and just twist to the left. And you see there, CVT F plus four for dealership use only. Yeah. So we'll get this in here, shove the old funnel in there. And we're gonna go ahead and fill it with some of this fluid. Now, if you've seen the fluid when we took it out, it was black. So we'll do a little comparison here and see. You see, it's like, that's like a greenish color, almost like a honey green, maybe, if that makes sense. Let's, uh, let's get a little bit on this paper towel and see exactly what color this stuff is. Because it's definitely not the same color as stuff we pulled out. Yeah, it's definitely like a blue, like a bluish hue, bluish green. So the stuff we pulled out was jet black, but we're gonna go ahead and fill this up. We pulled out probably around five quarts and that's what we're gonna put back in, but we do have the dipstick to test it. All right, at this point, we just dropped the battery and without the tray, it's just sitting there so we can start it up and check the fluid and everything. You wanna check for any leaks down here. We put a piece of cardboard down there. We don't see any, it's been running. So we're gonna go ahead and button everything up, get the tray back in, and then check the fluid.